Hi, it's Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. I just wanted to go through something I'm tracking this morning and go through some observations uh, about the roller coaster and the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. This is a thing called Swim Version. It's also available for six other different platforms, including Ninja Trader, TradeStation, TradingView, and a lot more. So, our roller coaster trade has been in during the European morning. We've got a nice long now. It's entered one of my support and resistance zone and found that resistance. So some observations I want to make first. First of all, the risk to reward on the trade. So that's just the roller coaster trade. I'm just going to put in here. This is the stop and the entry for the roller coaster from this morning. Okay, so entry here around about 2775. The stop loss just below these lows on the pivot. Great looking move. Trading stop being printed all the way and into that resistance zone. Just taken out that trailing stop now at 2,800. So a great trade. Now we're looking for a second trade. Um, we're looking for this wave four pullback to happen. So one of the things to get a little bit more out of this trade if you like, was to look at the oscillator. So this is our Elliott Wave oscillator here. I want to make an observation here with the oscillator divergence in that as the wave three is moving up, so we've got this upward movement here, as you can see by that dotted line, we've got oscillator divergence. We've got a high point on the oscillator here, and we can see that divergence here. So if I just draw something on here, You go, you know, this divergence here is what we're looking for. It's running out of juice. So when we do get to this high point, the top end of our resistance zone, and it starts to point down, okay, we could actually take a little bit more profit there, purely because we can see this oscillator divergence. Now, the next thing we need to do, get rid of these annotations for a second, we need to look now and track this wave four pullback. Remember, one of the things we've looked for straight away is the, the 535 oscillator pulling back between 90 and 140%. So reminder on how, how to draw this, we use a fib retracement, we click on zero, we go to the highest point on the wave three on the oscillator, and we click. Then we just have the 90, the 140 on there, Okay, you can actually change that as default as well. So this oscillator has not pulled back between 90 and 140 yet. Also remember, we need those rules to be met in that the wave four needs to come back into one of our pullback zones, the green, the amber, the red. And then finally, we need the stochastic, our false breakout stochastic to pull back and cross over in the oversold zone. So this is getting very close. This is potentially another opportunity to trade ES long today. So during the European morning, we've had a great risk to reward there, a one to five type uh, roller coaster trade. It's been <clears throat> pretty good, 25 points there. So a hundred tick move um, till it took the, the trailing stop out. Could have got a little bit more as I discussed. Now what we're looking for is this wave four pullback. If all the rules are met, remember, it's got to find support <clears throat> in one of our green, amber, or red zones. The oscillator's got to pull back between 90 and 140, and the stochastic's got to cross over in the oversold zone. Another observation that we should make on the false breakout stochastic is that we have this false breakout bar here at the top, denoting a strong bullish trend. So when we do cross over in the oversold zone, hopefully somewhere around here, we pull back against that strong bullish trend and it will want to return. So we get, we get support. So we've got to look at support levels, potential support levels in here. So we can look at something like this, potentially as our wave four pull back around 2790. We've got resistance here, we've got clustering just here, and then we've got support rejection just here. So this potentially is what they've got higher Got a higher zone here. It's not as strong, I don't think. But we need to pull back into one of our zones. The 535 must not break the 140 and must be below 90. 
and then we go to the crossover. So rules-based system. We've already had a great trade on this roller coaster this morning with ES. Now we're looking at combining our other indicator suite, the Elliott Wave indicator suite, to look for that wave four pullback and trade the fifth wave. If it does not pull back deep enough and all the rules are met, we don't trade it. We've already had a great trade this morning. So hopefully that helps a little bit combining two of our indicator suites there. Also, you know, if I just zoom out a little bit here, remember these support and resistance zones are crucial, okay? We've got to make sure we've got enough risk to reward on these roller coaster to get a good risk to reward into those support resistance zones. These are very, very important. Okay, so hopefully that helps and I'll speak to you all really soon.